Okay guys, the numbers are in and I have been keeping track of how much food Tua eats since the day that we brought him home. Uh, it's one more week to the point that we've had him for one year, so it's a little bit early, but I just went and got the rest of his raw food that he's going to be eating for the week. And I kind of know how much he goes through now per week, so I think it's okay to make the video just a little bit early. And since I went and got that raw food, I added that to the totals that I've been keeping track of for the entire year. And so I have the final numbers. So go ahead, stick around for the, the rest of the video. I think these numbers could be very interesting and very helpful for some of you. Alright guys, so just like I said, I just got finished adding up these numbers, so I'm pretty much going to be reacting to these at the same time that you guys learn about them. So that'll be kind of interesting to see, we'll both be surprised at the same time together basically. Um, just a couple things to keep in mind as I go through these numbers. Um, the kibble will be much higher than the raw food, for several reasons. One, I didn't even start experimenting with raw until Tua was about 20 weeks of age. And I started out with very little kibble at that time, uh, maybe like a 10% a or a very little raw food at that time, maybe like a 10% raw, 90% kibble, something like that. And then after that, after that first experimentation with it, I stopped for a while, you know, it was a few weeks, maybe even a month until I started back up with kibble, or I mean with raw, I keep saying kibble. And uh, then I slowly started to increase that to the 50-50 split that we are at now. But again, when I first started out, it was like probably a 90-10 sort of split. So just keep that in mind. The kibble uh, weight-wise is going to be much higher. And another thing to keep in mind also, this is just from, you know, eight weeks when we brought him home to one year. So year two, if I keep track of the numbers again from age one to, one, to two, it's going to be significantly higher. It's going to be significantly increased. Because when he's a young little puppy, he's not eating as much as he is, you know, currently. Maybe like half the amount. So even though this is going to be a very big number, keep in mind that it's going to be even bigger in this uh, one to two year of age. So we'll go ahead and just start hitting on the numbers right now. So kibble-wise, Tua went through 11 40-pound bags of his kibble for a total of 440 pounds. Uh, that's pretty incredible. That's, that's crazy to think. Uh, the kibble that we had him on was Diamond Naturals Large Breed Puppy Formula, and then we transitioned into his adult food as well, also Diamond Naturals. I do have links down to that uh, in the comments and in the descriptions if you're interested in looking into that type of food. That type of kibble was first recommended to me by my breeder, and then our vet also said that it was a, a great food for a bull mastiff. So 440 pounds of kibble in the first year, and for the raw portion of his food, some of the types of raw food that we fed him is ground turkey, ground beef, chicken, chicken liver, chicken gizzards, chicken wings, chicken feet, beef liver, turkey necks, pork loin, carrots, strawberries, blueberries, celery. I mean, the list goes on and on, guys. I'm sure I'm missing a few in there. But it's a very, very extensive list of different types of raw meat and then raw fruits and vegetables and stuff that you can give to them, which I didn't even mention fruits, but, you know, apples and things like that. Well, I guess I mentioned strawberries and blueberries. But definitely a lot of different fruits and veggies along with raw meat that you're able to feed your dog. We went through 161 pounds of raw food. Again, that's a pretty incredible amount. That's definitely higher than I thought it was going to be before I added all these numbers up. So that's, that's kind of cool. And then the total amount of food weight-wise between kibble and raw was 601 pounds, guys, in one year. And that's from when just a little eight-week-old puppy up until now. So it's going to be pretty incredible to see what it is from year one to year two if I keep track of that, which I think I probably will. I don't see why not. But then to break that down even further, that uh, 601 pounds in a year equates out to 50 pounds of food per month 
11.6 pounds of food per week or 1.7 pounds of food per day. So that's a pretty big amount if you think about it, but uh, I guess about, you know, where I thought that he would be as I, as I looked at the numbers as I was equating them out. And just kind of another funny thing to, to think about to put 600 pounds or 601 in this case into perspective. The average weight of a, a grizzly bear is 600 pounds. Also, the average weight of a vending machine is about 600 pounds. The average weight of a baby grand piano is about 600 pounds. So two is eating that amount of weight in a year. Uh, 600 pounds also would be four and a half of Tua. The last time we had him weighed in, he was about 135, give or take. Or the equivalent of eating three of me. I'm about 200 pounds. So it's kind of funny to put it in that sort of perspective, that sort of light at just how much 600 pounds is to go into his stomach over the course of a year. A lot of food for, for a dog, I, I would think. And then also, I'm not going to go over the the price of, of everything in this video, but I am going to be making a video on how much I spent on Tua in the first year, how much a bull mastiff will cost you in your first year if you spent the way that I did with him. And in that video, which will be coming out in the next week or two, or maybe three at the most, I'll break down exactly how much we spent on food, vet, all kinds of stuff. So look out for that one if you're interested in how much it costs to feed Tua the way that I feed him. Other than that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful to you guys in some way, or at least entertaining. I know uh, it was entertaining and eye-opening to me when I added everything up. Just something to look at, another thing to break down and look at if you're interested in the breed. But like I said, guys, that's it, and thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good rest of your day.